Hey, I'm Timur. Um, and the first time I got into programming was about 10 years ago. I was uh, doing astrophysics at the time, and we were doing uh, numerical simulations of the cosmological structure formation. Uh, they look like, um, this doesn't work. They look like this, yeah? Um, no, hang on, yeah. So this is rendered from such a computer simulation. Uh, they were running on like massively parallel computer clusters. And we were using these things to study how galaxies evolve. Yeah? Pretty cool, huh? Um, let me show you the code. Hmm? So that's like actual, actual production code. Anyone knows what programming language that is? That's Fortran. Yeah? Let me scroll down a little bit. Yeah? Um, let me scroll down a bit further. It just keeps going. It's like the same file. It's like, I don't know, tens of thousands of lines of code. Yeah, it's the same stuff. So um, this was my first programming language. This is how I learned how to code. And then after a few years of this, I was like, this can't be it. Is, is this it? Is this, how, is this what programming is? No, that can't be it. There must be a better way, right? And I kept, I started searching. And I, I found this. And I said, yeah, this is much better, yeah? And I went to my supervisor at the time, and I said, um, hey, that new project, you know, um, that we're going to do, I'm going to write this in C++. That's going to be much better, right? And he was like, are you crazy? No one's going to be able to read your code. <laughs> well, I went ahead and did it anyway. Um, and then that was so much fun that I decided, hey, let's not do the science stuff. Let's just become a C++ programmer. Yeah? And then I applied for a job at a company called Native Instruments. They were doing mu music software. And I applied for a job there. In order to um, get it, I, need to pass a, I needed to pass a coding test. Yeah, the coding test looked something like that. Um, I got a string and I had to replace you know, one substring with another substring. And I was like, yeah, I can do this with C++, huh? Stack Overflow. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, STL, right? You have to need to know the STL. Well, if you need performance, here's an optimized function. Uh, yeah, you can do it with the char pointer as well. Uh, you know, in C++11, you can do it with regex, right? This is cool. <laughs> oh, hang on, here's a templatized version of it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, and then I found this thing called uh, Juice, which is a um, C++ framework. And, hey, you can write it like this. Um, and that's the code I submitted. And they were like, hey, this guy knows Juice. Cool, and I got the job. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, fast forward a few years, I moved on, and I now actually work on Juice. Uh, and since then, I learned a lot. And I want to point out like a particular book I read, which is uh, this one. Anyone here read this book? Yeah. Really recommend it. Uh, I, can be I can summarize the whole book in one slide. <laughs> the only valid measurement of code quality is WTFs per minute. Um, and I think I can rephrase this. I think actually my philosophy is code should be as close as possible to plain English. And um, this is something that Juice actually is really, really good at. I mean, from what I hear from our users, this is like the number one reason why they like Juice so much. You know, you can, you can write code like that. You know, it just tells you what's going on. It's really, really easy to read. And then you open a header and then, you know, you, you can just read it. Um, but, you know, as much as I care about Juice, there's one thing I care about more, which is C++ itself. Um, and, you know, here's a, here's a line of C++ code from my talk on, on Tuesday. Um, and, you know, in C++ 17, I can't write this anymore, yeah? This is wrong. I have to write it like that. And, you know, this makes me sad. Because, you know, here's the problem. I, I know what a Mersenne twister is, right? Uh, I know why, why, the, why the new version is, is the better one. Uh, I'm a C++ fan, right? I'm here, I can go to a talk about like template metaprogramming, new techniques in C++ 17. I'm gonna have a great time. But it's not about me, it's about the 90% of our users. You know, they, they don't know this stuff, they don't care about this stuff. They're, they're stuck in C++ because, you know, they're writing audio software, you have to use C++ for that. But, but they just wanna shuffle their vector because they're just implementing their first card game, you know? Um, and I think we, audio people are not the only industry like that, and I think you know, the great thing about Juice is that we allow people to, you know, write simple code. But I think C++ as a language really should be better at this. You know, yeah, we need the heavy stuff in there for the people who need it, probably most of the people in this room. 
but we really should also cater for you know, all the other people out there who want to write simple code. Uh, and they don't care about you know, details. And I think, I think this is important. So I just wanted to share this with you. Thanks. Thank you.